Hello, my name is Vittorio Rezzonico and I am the new Computational Sciences and Engineering Coordinator at EPFL. What does it mean, this function? My role is to coordinate Computational Science and Engineering. That means I will meet the researchers and learn what they need and match their needs to the available resources within EPFL and also outside of EPFL. What are the resources you have at this time at EPFL? At EPFL we have some pooled resources, so we will buy every year a new cluster which can be doubled in the following year. So I'm also responsible for the capacity planning of these new resources that will be bought. And uh, the external resources you can access? Well, we can access, of course, CSCS. And then for life sciences, we have Vital IT. So they, they satisfy mostly those users that need some special storage. And then uh, there is CADMOS, which is a cooperation between the University of Geneva, Lausanne and EPFL. And it's uh, about promoting HPC, new algorithms, creating new chairs and making software efficient. And CADMOS also provides high-end facilities. This is a new function has been introduced at EPFL Lausanne. What were you missing before? Well, uh, I was working at the Basic Sciences Faculty as a Facility Manager for the Data Center and as a Cluster Administrator. And it was mostly technical and it was just Basic Sciences. So uh, there was this opportunity to broaden the horizon and also to do more management work. And what is the importance of HPC at EPFL Lausanne? Well, HPC is a pillar of research. Uh, we see that more and more labs do HPC. You have at here at FFL Lausanne a new system, how people can apply for shared resources uh, for cluster. How does it work? Well, uh, first I, I meet the professors and I see what their needs are so that the new resources are tailored to their needs. We also do some capacity planning based on, based on past usage of the platforms. And then we buy the machine and the machine is allocated, uh, well, the, the labs buy only the computational power. What is the, are the largest uh, um, challenges for the future? Well, it is uh, the capacity planning. That's not an easy one because uh, you can have expectations on what you need, what computational power you need, and then there's the reality. So we have to lever with respect to what has been used, what has been asked for. We have to make stick to the reality what is really needed. You have professors to pay for all the costs, or are some costs paid uh, in a central way? Some costs are, are, play, are paid in, the, in a central way. So, for example, all the facilities like the data center and the resources like electricity and cooling are given by EPFL and also the, the backbone of the infrastructure, which is the, the high, high speed, low latency network connectivity and the file servers up to a certain standard. And the labs just pay for the raw computing power and also system management is included, maintenance is included. Do we have two examples of science being done here at uh, EPFL? Well, uh, you'll have more examples, more than two examples of science in the new EPFL uh, HPC CSC review, Zeta, which will appear in February. So I can give you a preview of what's in it. Uh, we'll start with some applications that can scale so we have uh, smooth particle methods for uh, astronomy, galaxy formations, and hydraulic machine studies. Then uh, thank you very much, uh, Vittoria, you. for having time to stay with us, and uh, good luck in your new position. Thank you very much.